Alright, so I'm trying to do these devlogs weekly, and so this week you get uh, the opportunity to see something that I would normally never bother with uh, with making a video about. Um, last time I said I would make a level editor, uh, or that I should make a level editor, and, and here, here we are. Um, obviously, it ends up looking like a database data entry sort of thing. I guess this is just how it ends up when you have so much information. So these characters, location, object, vehicles, these are the um, entities that are simulated and um, you know uh, and so they uh, basically are just uh, just that. They're entities and you name them and you uh, give them whatever and it's got some type safety so that if I put in something wrong like this it'll give me a little alert that I need to fix that and there's some uh, nifty uh, yeah, right click features to help me quickly add in names of entities and stuff over here we got the timeline which is uh, everything that has happened and then after a certain time uh, the time that the game starts uh, the it also creates the schedule system so we got you know uh, this character at this time and I can create a condition for the scheduling system and commands for the scheduling system so so for example if I take uh, the condition and I want to say if character ah, is at um, at a location equal to uh, whatever name of this place is and that'll be the condition and then I can put in uh, commands now I've made it a sort of uh, gonna need to like rework some stuff in unity because I had a lot of uh, very specific commands I've decided to make them more general which didn't make sense before when I was writing things by hand but now that I'm uh, I've got a level designer it makes sense although I do I do still have them kind of in here but they're they're like macros they turn into these general ones like setting and adding to arrays and removing from arrays um, whereas these are uh, specific macro versions like moving so I can say move uh, uh, what's his name guy to whatever and that'll be one of the commands and then I could add some more commands and then this section description described is for sort of like uh, alibi same as alibis but for the actual history version of the alibi um, the real thing that happened and I could also add commands to that um, so alibi is essentially the same as timeline except um, it gives you a region of time instead of a specific one because this one is timeline goes in sequential order whereas alibi is a patch of the timeline that the person's covered up and this has conditions like uh, the timeline uh, what it doesn't have is standard commands because these aren't actual actions um, they're made up stories they do have the evidence commands though so once um, you as a player find it or another detective there's other de you, you have a secondary detective he can do things as well um, but once that evidence enters the evidence locker they can perform some commands which reminds me I need to put this commands uh, hot box link whatever in this section um, and statements is for basically all the other evidence so so it's uh, a link to evidence or well no link to evidence would be that the description is um, something being informed to you and then if you you link to one piece of evidence um, like this alibi it's um, an about so you're asking the character about that piece of evidence and then of course you can add two and it'll be the 
uh, conflict version. And uh, that's that's it. That's it. That's all there is. This stuff is um, this stuff here is uh, properties of the so like care characters, and then these are all the properties so that I don't have to remember everything that I can set. Um, and then you got a whole import export. Uh, so I can save it to text and I'm still working on saving it to the script. It's almost all the way done. I'm being a little slowed down because I have to actually make some stuff, new stuff in, in Unity uh, to match it up to. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's done. <laughs>